I tell you what, one thing I've never had is patience. And this YouTube shit is going to make or break me. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for tuning in. So I know y'all are going to come for me. I know it. I'm going to hear it in the comments. Oh my God, she's doing another haul. But listen, listen, Linda, listen. Okay. I picked up some drugstore stuff, so it was a little less expensive, but then I got it all on sale. Y'all know how I am about sales. If I can get makeup on sale, I'm going to do it. Give this video a thumbs up. If you shop sales too, like who doesn't want to save money? Come on. I picked up some stuff from the Ulta Fall Haul that was going on a couple weeks ago. They had a lot of products, 30% off, 40% off. I had points. I had my 350 off a drugstore. Gotta learn how to work the system. I also picked up some stuff from CVS and from Walmart and from Target. So it's just kind of a mixture but I got some goodies and I can't wait to share them with you guys. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you know every time I upload. And I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into the goodies. All right, so let's start off with the goodies from Ulta. This first product was actually out of stock for a while and then it came back in stock in time for this sale and it was 40% off. This is the LA Girl Break Free Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know if you guys can see the little hologram on here with the butterflies, but it's pink and purple. And this one was right up my alley, of course. And this just screams fall to me. So I ended up getting it for less than $10. It was like $9.49 or something like that on sale. And I haven't touched it yet, but I cannot wait so I know y'all see a lot of purple looks and pink lately, but that's my jam and you're going to see another one because I need to use this. Now I know it doesn't make sense because I haven't even used the other one that I got, the Pro Artistry with the blue, but listen, I am going to put myself on a no buy at some point or like a super low, low buy and then I'm going to have to use all this stuff because I'm not going to have anything else new. So. It will come, but of course I want to swatch this middle shade, which of course looks like a topper. This is the shade Sky. And then I'll also swatch Mile High, which are both of these are shimmers. These are both toppers, not expecting that. So there those colors are, really pretty colors. A lot shinier than I thought they would be, so that's good. And then just for the more regular shimmers, this is Soul. And then I'll go ahead and see what this black looks like. Black's pretty nice. So this is Soul. And then this is the black, which is called Winging It. So excited to play with this. The next thing that I picked up from Ulta is this Tweezer Man Precision Eyelash Curler. I laugh because I was bragging about how I don't have to curl my lashes because they're so curly. Well, now that they've gotten longer on the ends, my lashes are straight. So I think it looks funny when I put on false lashes. So this was, I know this is a good brand and I love their tweezers. So I just figured I would go ahead and go with a brand that I know. I'll let you guys know how that works out. This next item I am very excited about because I have watched this forever. It was out of stock for a while, then it came back. I only got the 350 off. It wasn't on sale, but I was just tired of looking at it and hearing hype about it, so I wanted to get it. This is the Flower Beauty Jungle Lights Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the colors look like. They're all shimmers. And just FYI, guys, this is my second time filming this. So I swatched all this stuff earlier, and that's why it is not completely fresh. Me and my technology do not get along. My lighting is giving me the blues. I need some help. If y'all know somebody, comment below or tell me like where I can find answers because <laughs> my patience is wearing thin. Anyway, 
these shadows are so soft and so pigmented like i'm barely rubbing my fingers in here and it's just like full pigment full shine so i can't wait to use this because y'all know how much i love glitter on my eyelid and all of these colors are just super shiny super bold and i think they're gonna look amazing now another item that i picked up during this sale was the ColourPop pretty fresh foundation and you saw in my video that i've already used that i love that foundation to death i bought two bottles and i ordered the concealer online if i can find stuff online i get it online because i use ebates and shopping through Ebates gets me cash back on top of the sale prices that I'm already getting. So it just accumulates for like three months and then I get a PayPal notification that I have cash back coming, which I normally turn around and spend on makeup or shoes. So I got the foundation in store because I wanted to make sure that it was the right match. And they also had some screw up where the foundation was on sale in store for $6 instead of $9. That's why I got it in the store. Um, but the concealer was the price it was. It was like $6 or yeah, $6. I got the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 125 Neutral. Medium Dark 125 Neutral. And this is what it looks like. I do think this is going to be a good shade for me. And it's going to be more of a wearable, like, two shades lighter than my skin tone versus the normal ridiculousness that I do. So that's the shade there. I think it's pulling a little lighter on camera. But I like that it's really creamy and it has hyaluronic acid. I don't like my under eyes to look dry and wrinkled. So that is why I'm excited about trying that. I also picked up this Physician's Formula Butter Blush. Now, I've heard good things about the bronzer, and I felt like most of the blushes, they didn't have any that were dark enough. This one looked so much darker online than it did when I got it. Um, this is what it looks like. And yeah, it is light. Now... It does have that coconut kind of beach smell to it and there is a sheen to it which I don't normally like and at first I was like this is not going to do anything for me you are not going to be able to see that it's going to be more of a highlighter I'm still not sure about it I did try it once and I don't know it's a sheen on my cheeks which I don't normally wear so I don't know if like once I get used to it, I might like it or I might just end up feeling like it's way too light and shiny for me. So I'll keep you posted on that. But that's the darkest color they have and I really just wanted to try it. So we'll see. Ulta also had a really big sale on their lashes. I think all the Ardell's and the Kiss lashes were 40% off. So I picked up this pair of Kiss lashes. It was on sale for $5.00. And y'all know I love this little applicator. These are the number 11s. These are actually my favorite pair to wear if I'm just doing a glam look, but I don't want anything too, too thick. So these are long and more wispy than they are thick and they're comfortable to wear. So I picked up more of those. This is the Ardell Wispy 600. These are more of like a cluster pair which I've never had any like this. Try to get it close enough so you guys can see. I've never had any like this. So they were on sale for like two or three dollars instead of the normal six dollars or whatever it is. So I decided to try these. And then the rest of these are magnetic. I have been absolutely loving the magnetic lashes, especially when I'm filming and I just I'm doing a look to have some content for you guys and then I'm taking it right back off. I don't want to put on lashes and then turn around and pull them right back off and potentially rip out my eyelashes for nothing. I have on magnetic lashes right now. So my favorite pair are the Tempt by Kiss that I've found so far. And I got two of those. So these are same thing, a little thick. They kind of look like the number 11s actually. 
these are the only ones that I found that look thick and full but not like too crazy I just don't like super dramatic lashes they just don't feel comfortable on my eyes um, and then I got the tantalize which I've never tried and charm tantalize looks like a middle between charm and tempt so as you can see it still has a little bit of thickness to it but not as much but then charm is just a lot thinner and more natural and then the last thing I got from Ulta are press-on nails I do not go to the salon to do my nails I do pedicures and manicures at home I save that money and I spend it on makeup or shoes let me stop because y'all I do save money sometimes like every month I try to put a little bit in savings but I just <laughs> I like getting stuff on sale I don't know how many times I want to say that but anyway, I like the press-on nails that already have the glue tabs in them. They last about a week, a week and a half, going through my workouts and everything. But I've learned that the trick is you literally have to sit and hold them and press them on for like a full minute for them to last long, which is perfectly fine because I do them at night before I go to bed. And I started doing it that way because I'm going to sleep. I'm not going to be getting my hands wet, washing anything. So it just gives them longer to be able to adhere without being messed up or get wet or me moving around using them too much. The pair that I have on now are a kiss pair, but these are like a light purple and then you have your little accent nail. So I wear this pair quite a bit, but I found a new favorite pair. This is the Dashing Diva Magic Press medium length in the shade Pink Lady. You have seen me wear these before and I liked them so much that I bought two more boxes. And I get, there's 30 nails in here. I've gotten two wears out of a box that fit my nails exactly. And then I kind of just try to see if I can squeeze one more. I also picked up the shade or the design Go Go Glitter. So this one is like a light pink. It's not a white. And then there's a glitter accent nail in the middle. So I'm kind of trying to get into the white nails without them being white. Just something different. I also picked up Sunset Breeze and Midas Touch. These two, you'd probably say these are a little more spring appropriate than they are fall. But I do what I want. So... I'm going to wear them when I want, <laughs> including the purple ones I have on right now. So just to get a different design, get a different color. Now, one thing I'll say I love about shopping at Ulta is they always have like point perks and benefits and, you know, like gift with purchase, different stuff like that. So on the first day of the fall sale that they had, if you spent 60 bucks, which all that stuff cost about 60 bucks, um, then you got to pick a gift bag with a bunch of different sample size stuff. So usually if I'm ordering online from Ulta, I will kind of wait till the end of the day to see if I get an email that pops up with a gift with purchase just to see unless it's something that I really want and think it's going to sell out. So this set with all of these goodies here actually came free with the purchase that I made. So the first thing in it is this Eyelore London Jordan Woods Beach Please Lash Extension Effect. It comes with a little bottle of glue and it says reusable for five wears. As you can see, these are really thin, really small, more natural. So this would probably be like a no makeup lash extension look. The next thing is this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Prep and Set Water Mist. It hydrates, preps, and sets and makes skin look smooth. Always down to try a new setting spray. And that's what this one looks like. And it does have a very strong rose scent. Like, I can smell it through the bottle. So if you don't like rose or don't like scents, you might not like this, but we'll see how it actually works. Other thing in this set is the Revolution Skincare, Better Skincare, Better Makeup, 2% Hyaluronic Acid. 
says it's best for dehydrated skin, helps improve skin hydration. So there's a little sample of that. Love getting these little things because I stick them in my travel bag. Also got this Vici Laboratories Mineral 89 Skin Fortifying Daily Booster. It's mineralizing water and more hyaluronic acid. It says for all types of skin, even sensitive ones, apply two drops on clean skin morning and evening as the first step in your skincare routine. So definitely gonna try that. This CeraVe Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I know CeraVe is really good for people who have sensitive skin, so I know that should work well. Then I got this Moisture Boost Gel to Water Morning Cleanser by Tony Moly. I don't know why it says only use it in the morning, but that's what this looks like. I've never seen this before. I've heard of the brand, but I've never tried it. So we'll see how that goes. And then there's also this Clean It Zero Removes Makeup, Hydrates and Cleans, a three-in-one cleansing balm. It comes in a little pink package like this. And I love cleansing balms to use in the shower to help take off my makeup. So this is a cute little bubble pack, I guess you could call, and it's in there. So I'll keep you posted on that one. And then the last thing in the set, it's a lot of stuff in here, is this La Roche-Posay Hyalu Serum. It's a B5 concentrate, pure hyaluronic acid. I don't know why they do this to people. This is all in French. And I've never told y'all this, I don't think. But I can speak a little bit of French. I can read a little bit, speak a little bit. So this says, applique matin et soir sur le visage et le cou. Which means, apply morning and evening on your face and your neck. French lesson for the day. That's it. All right, so now we're moving on to our drugstore stuff. Now listen, I went to CVS to get one thing. I had a coupon. It was $4 off of 12 for L'Oreal. And so I was like, I'm gonna just go see, but I don't need anything else. I went in and I go to pay and this, the guy at the store is like, hey, do you wanna sign up for our care club or care pass, whatever it's called? You spend five bucks a month. And in return for that five bucks, you get a $10 coupon. Now, I'm in CVS like once a week, so I don't care what it is, if it's makeup or just something I need quick. I just like going in there. And I always get these coupons. You know how when you check out, you always get these coupons for like $3 off of this, $5 extra bucks, all this stuff. So the guy signs me up. So now I have this $10 coupon on top of the $3 coupon that I already had. And he starts printing coupons and I have a $10 coupon that I had from before and this other $6 coupon that I have. He's like, you have a lot of stuff. You might as well just go shopping. Go look around and see if there's anything you want. Well, of course there's something I want. So I had a coupon for 40% off of all Maybelline products. Then they had 40% off Physician's Formula. So I got some more stuff from them and then the rest of it I just used my coupons with. So all the stuff I'm about to show you I think I spent like $30 for. Your girl racked up. The first thing I picked up was this L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock Illuminating Primer and it says it's a long wearing primer so it helps to give you a smooth and refined canvas. It's a glowing primer that hydrates and I like that it said that it's going to help lock your makeup into place. So this one I did swatch earlier and I saw that it has like a kind of pinkish. I don't know if you can see that, but it just gives you the most subtle glow. But I think that is going to be so gorgeous under makeup. And a lot of the ones that are hydrating don't really say that they help lock your makeup into place. So hopefully this one will... Give me a glow, but also help keep my makeup on. So then I picked up this Milani Prep and Brighten Rose Face Oil. I have been looking for a face oil that would be light enough to mix in with my matte foundations because I have so many that I'm not wearing right now and I don't want them to just sit. So this is what the packaging looks like. And 
I bet this is probably gonna smell very rosy. I just wanted something that specifically said it would be good with makeup because my other oils that I have are like some type of treatment. I have the Sunday Riley treatment oil that has retinol in it, not for daytime. Um, and then I have the Argon oil and different stuff like that. So this one says prep, which to me means should be good to prep your skin for makeup. So yeah, this also has a really strong smell. Your girl is gonna be glowing all winter long. I cannot wait. The next thing that I picked up, I grabbed some more makeup wipes. I use these wipes whenever I'm doing swatches or when I'm cleaning up makeup in my beauty room after I film. Um, I don't, I rarely ever use them on my face. Maybe if I'm just trying not to make a mess at the sink and I don't wanna use a cleansing balm, I'll wipe off with this first and then use my cleansers, but it's mostly for swatches. So I had like $3 off this pack and it was $6. I also picked up this e.l.f. Multi-Chromatic Multi-Stick. It is a cream product and it says it's versatile. It's a multi-use stick that can be used on your eyes, lips, and cheeks for a soft, glowy, monochromatic look. I will not put this on my eyes. I don't see that. But I got it to kind of use it just as a cream blush. Um, the color, you know, I'm thinking like this is the color that it is. But then it's actually a lot more pinky and a lot more, I mean, it says it's shiny. I guess I should have known better, but this is what it looks like. It is very shiny and it also is very pink, like almost like a hot pink, which I was not expecting. So I don't know. I put some on my lips. Absolutely not but I'm gonna try it on my cheeks. I feel like this is the color that I thought maybe the Physician's Formula one was gonna be. This just has a lot of shine to it and I'm not used to that. So we're trying new products, branching out a little bit, and hopefully this one will be a win. The Physician's Formula stuff that I picked up, like I said, it was 40% off. Y'all know Physician's Formula is high. Like the Butter Bronzer, I feel finally was able to find that in the deepest shade which is sculpt and it was $18 I'm not paying $18 for a drugstore nothing not so when it said 40% off and I had my $10 off and $3 off and whatever I was like okay now I'm gonna try it and see so this does not look like it's gonna do much, but I ain't gonna lie, I tried it because if it sucked, I was gonna bring it back immediately and not even tell y'all about it. But this actually does do really well with contouring and bronzing. So it smells just like the blush, like the little coconut beach smell. But if you were thinking about getting this and you're my complexion, as you can see, it's a more cool tone, which is what I look for when I'm bronzing well more when I'm contouring but oh you can actually see it a little bit that dark line there so definitely happy that I was able to find it even happier that I was able to get it on sale because I was not paying full price for it and full transparency just because I found it on sale and because I liked it I went back and got another one so I do already have a backup <laughs> All right, I got two more Physicians Formula products. The first one, I honestly just got this because I was intrigued. This is a lip serum and it's the 24 karat gold collagen lip rejuvenating serum. It says it has collagen in it and that it's anti-aging lip therapy serum that deeply moisturizes, nourishes and rejuvenates the lips while restoring a soft and touchable pout. This is what the packaging looks like. So it's all like fancy and gold and all that good stuff. But when you open this, I'm gonna try to make sure you guys can see this texture when I open this. It's like honey. Do you see that? Like there's actual, like it's sticky. So, yes, I have tried it, 
And yes, I love it. It, I find that it stays on a little longer than some of the more like Vaseline type ones that I wear for daytime. And I like how it feels. It doesn't feel like it's plumping, but I definitely feel like it helps to smooth out my lips and like I don't have as much of the line showing. Like my lips look shriveled up when they're dry and this just kind of helps smooth everything back out. So I also got two of those. And then lastly, I picked up one of their highlighters. Now they do have some highlighters in the same packaging as the blush, but this one intrigued me. So I decided to get this instead. This is the Muru Muru Butter Blend. It's a butter highlight and it says it's a cream to powder. This is in the shade Champagne. This is what it looks like in the packaging. And I was like, to say that champagne, that is really gold. And I wonder if it's gonna be all glittery and it says cream to powder. And so I thought it was gonna be more of like the ColourPop cream to powders, but it's not. It does feel soft, but like I barely swatch my fingers in there and look at how metallic that is. And then swatched on my hand. This is absolutely insane. It is gorgeous. So, you know, I can't wait to wear this. I was surprised. I was like, okay, Physicians Formula, y'all don't have much in terms of complexion for us, but I can get down with that. So I will keep y'all posted. You know, you're going to see it in a video. Then I picked up 40% off of Maybelline. So I'm not going to open everything because this is probably going to be long. But this is the Brow Extensions in Deep Brown. It says it naturally gives you hair-like fibers for your eyebrows and it makes them naturally thick. Never tried it. Thought it would be something new on a day when I want something more natural. And my brows, I'm trying to grow them out thicker. So thought this would be good to help. Well, not help them grow, but just to help them look thicker. I also picked up another Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I went one shade lighter. Before I had 144 Caramel, now this is 142 Golden. Caramel is pretty much like my skin color around my eyes. And so I wanted something that I could wear if I did decide to do a little makeup just to brighten a little more than that one does. But yeah. I like this concealer a lot. I'm almost done with my other one. I started to just get the same shade, but we went a little lighter. Then I picked up this Master Prime primer base that says Hydrate and Smooth. I have been looking for smoothing primers. We already know hydrating, smoothing, I want it. So this is just another one for me to try out. And then I picked up this Superstay Ink Crayon. Now I do have the Superstay Liquid Lipstick and those dry down a lot. So I picked this one up hoping that it won't dry down as much. It'll still last a while, but not be as drying. This is in the shade Forget the Rules. So as you can see, very fall appropriate, vampy. So there you can see the color, it is dark purple berry color so I think that is going to be gorgeous and it will pair well with this eyeshadow palette that I got. I picked up the Maybelline Nudes of New York palette mainly because I feel like this has the best color story of like a big palette that I've seen in the drugstore. I don't like the ones by L'Oreal. I don't know. I tried them years ago and I just was not impressed. I tried both of them. And I didn't like them. And I feel like, I don't know. I don't see much. I see quads, I guess, from Revlon. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But I feel like Maybelline does eyeshadows the best. So I know these probably aren't going to be as pigmented as some of the others that I've gotten. But I think these are the most reliable. And if you're new to makeup, this would be a great brand to start with. And then last but not least, I picked up another one of the Lifter Glosses. They have Hyaluronic Acid, so of course, love. And this one's a little more pink than the other one that I have. And then it has like gold sparkles in it. So kind of reminds me a little more of my Fenty one that I use all the time. 
but this one's more pink, that one's more bronze. Okay, we're down to the last few things that I picked up between Walmart and Target. I picked up another Magnetic Lash Eyeliner. The original one that I got with my Kiss Lashes made my eyelids burn. And I thought I was just tripping the first time, but every time I use it, it happens. So I decided to pick up this one. Yes, I have used it because I was gonna bring it back if it did the same thing. No, it does not. So I like this one a lot better than the Kiss one. And I actually have it on today and I didn't have any issues at all. I also picked up two tools, I guess you can call these. These were on clearance at Walmart. I will always get brushes if I can find them on sale. These are by Japanesque. It is a concealer brush and a foundation brush. I'm surprised that this is a concealer brush. You'll see why when I show you. Y'all know I love using a brush for my concealer, which is why I picked this up. But this is flat like a shader brush for eyeshadow. And I've never seen one like this before. So as you can see, this is just like a normal flat brush. I don't know. So I guess I'll try it, but I don't really like the kind of paint on. So this is probably going to get used for eyeshadow. I'm going to just be honest. And then there is a brush and it is a flat top kabuki, but this one has a little slant on it. So interesting to use. And then I picked up two Japanese sponges, came two in the pack. So I thought these were cute and they were only $7. So two sponges for $7, very good deal. Well guys, that is it for the haul. That is everything that I picked up. And I'm excited about a lot of these products. I am getting to the point to where I'm honestly overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I need to try. So y'all don't get mad at me if you don't see a haul for a while because I need to use this stuff. I don't want it to just sit and go bad. If you enjoyed this video and you're as excited about these products as I am, give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload twice a week, I'm bringing you guys new content. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.